Her mobility is just too much for Peach in my personal opinion. I mean, her neutral is amazing, but that rage fair Peach has, dude, yeah, that's scary. In theory, there's no reason for Sheik to get hit by that, you know? No, in theory, no, not really, but still, it's very scary to play against I a I think the roll Peach. speed of Sheik, theoretically, just to, to completely shut down uh, Peach, especially considering you have needles and you can't shield while you're floating. Yeah, you're right. So it's just a hard time for Peach. Yeah, you're right. She definitely outplays Peach in the neutral, but like I said, Peach does a lot of damage with those combos that she yeah. has. Like most matchups nowadays, this matchup for Sheik is all about can you avoid that powerful kill move? Can you avoid that reach? I'm not sure why, but a lot of people actually apparently got mad at Sheik mains. Why? 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they get, get mad at all the top tiers. Yeah. I don't get mad at, me, at players, I only get mad at Sakurai. <laughs> yeah, I get mad at Sakurai. Why and did myself. you make this game like that? Uh, so, Ho having a percent lead, but I mean, Peach against Yeah, there Sheik, it was. Fair. I don't really think this is actually an advantage for Ho yet. No, definitely not. Especially looking at how far that one fair at the ledge sent him. Yeah. I mean, he can. the only thing he gets out of this is the fact that he can actually play the defense. Okay, that, that the I don't think that was true. No. So four throw into bouncing face, none of those percents. Especially if you die, die upward, it's hard to connect. Oh, and that's actually going to be the forward smash. Doesn't kill though. Good stuff. Ma Ooh, okay. great back air by Ho. Yeah, I like that. Very strong read. This is huge because Meru has doesn't really have that rage anymore, which is big. Definitely big. Because that fair dude. Oh my god, that move is so scary. Some neutral shenanigans. Yeah, he's looking for the fair. Yeah, he's, he's looking, looking for, for that it. fair. And Ho's yeah. like, I need to avoid that. A bouncing fish isn't just you know, a great combo and kill tool, it's just so good for escaping situations. Right? Yeah, exactly, in defensive positions, you're right, yeah. Such a good move. Oh, it doesn't connect with the upper. Okay. Gets a grab. Ooh, yeah, good action. stuff. I think a lot of Sheik should do that more, you know? When yeah. you're comboing people with fair, you have exact the same momentum as you would if you just short up up B. And people are gonna match air dodge, they will expect the fair. Yeah, you just posi condition people to air dodge and if you just throw out an up B uh, somewhere randomly, they will fall for it if they match air dodge all the time. Yeah, ever since the nerf on Sheik hit and the 50-50 was gone, uh, a lot of Sheik's kind of stopped using Vanish, but it's still an incredible tool. It's yeah. like a spot dodge with a killing hitbox that you can use in the air. Yeah, exactly. It's still a very strong move. But it's 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 good to see all these Sheiks explore new setups and new combos to kill. Yeah, exactly. So th that's exactly what I mean. You know, you you lose Vanish on your 50-50, find new situations where to use that Vanish, and it looks yeah. like Ho is a player that does just that. Yeah, and it's funny because she gets a lot of flock for being boring, but I think she's one of the most enjoyable characters in this game to watch. Just because of how people need to work for that kill, how many setups people need to find out, how many yeah. different mix-ups that people use with the character. That makes it cool, but you know, in my opinion, she, when it comes to entertainment value, is a definitely... Oh, is that a footstool? No, okay. No. It's definitely based on uh, the playstyle of the player, because we do have those Sheiks that play neutral perfectly uh, in the most uh, boring sense of the word. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I know what you mean, yeah. I think Sheik is a character that can play correctly and robot-like and get really far, but I think Sheik is also a character that really rewards creativity. Yeah, and she definitely does. As you can see here right now, Ho Hang of having a pretty good lead and just getting these percentages and uh, it working out for him. He's one of those players that just Plays a safe neutral role, but has some unique tricks. Yeah, you know, when he gets a conversion, he tries to make the most out of it. Yeah, exactly. And it's interesting to see. Stack. Yeah. Ooh, that fair will not do it, but wow, that's so strong. That's exactly the kind of offensive moves you need to avoid. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by that. Whenever you play Peach and you have a lead, just like the one rule, uh, don't get hit by fair or up smash. Definitely. Uh, up smash is kind of easy to avoid even. Yeah, you know, exactly. Just watch out at the ledge, basically. And stitch faces and stuff like that, but that's RNG dependent anyway. Yeah, you're not going to do anything about that. 
I'd like to see some uh, tricks with the down smash. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and that's it cool when it be and stock. So Ho still having a percentage of 70%, but as we know, Sheik having trouble killing. <laughs> and about, as I'm about to say that, he almost dies to that bouncing fish. That's a great thing about cheap combos too, because you use so many hits, your finishing hits like Bouncing Fish will probably refresh really quick. Yeah, exactly. She won't really get a lot of still of negation. Yeah, or only maybe on fair, which is actually kind of where you want it. Yeah, exactly. Like that 1% of damage, 2% maybe yeah. at best. We'll take that for extra combo builds. Yeah, exactly. And we also take that for refreshing our kill moves. Yeah, now Meru knows. He's not going to fall for that again. No, All he's just jumping away. Ooh. Meru actually being one of those players that's actually really good at keeping you at that ledge. He's very scary. Oh, that was so smart. Just jabbing him right away to force him back on the ledge. And gets a lot of damage out of it. And Ho on the platform. Does get back on stage safely though. Yeah, we saw the forward air come out. He wants it. I like oh. his uses of jab actually. Barely gets out of that up air. Yeah, the, the, the usage of Sheik Japs by Ho, it's very interesting. Just getting the backers out of it. Is this going to lead to something? Oh, it shouldn't. He, oh, he tried to rat the... Oh, that's going to uh, be stuck anyway. Marius D is, even though he was just about to arrive at a magic percent where Sheik setups just don't work anymore. Yeah. He got all that rage to take out Sheik at 80-90%, which is exactly where Ho was sitting. Unfortunately, Miro just... Couldn't quite make it back to the stage, I guess, for some reason. And he drops Sadly. game one. He will drop game one. However, as we saw, his comeback potential is very high. Yeah, and I, I like the stage for Sheik. Uh, yeah. for, for the uh, Sheik and Beats matchup, both ways, actually. Yeah. Because I've said before on stream, when you get a fast character that just out zones and out mobilities you, you want a narrow stage where you can corner them. Smash yeah. a stake like that. I would have liked to see me a counter pick to Dreamland because there you also get the added bonus of living to absurd percents where you're playing versus Sheik. Yeah. But uh, Smashville should should be able to do it. Yeah, and it's also just a stage with a platform that can get a little wider, just allow you allows you to do a lot of movement options too. So yeah. she can just move around really well, but also gets cornered. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't necessarily disagree with the stage, but I do think it's slightly in favor of Sheik. Yeah, me too. Would have preferred to see the battlefields. Yeah, I, I may, maybe I thought about that too, but maybe it was like, yeah, this was like last hit probably. I mean, if he connected that fair, he would have probably taken that game, but I mean, maybe he feels just comfortable about this, yeah. this stage. I have the dead or better for Japan. Yeah, it's not a bad stage. The run back in a game that was last hit, it's not a bad idea. Maybe he found out some weaknesses that he can exploit. I wonder if he actually did want to nair there, that was an up air. Oh, that's what I mean, that fair that kills so early at the ledge. Miru getting that regular get up. Yeah, and now you're in the lead, and this is where Sheik really suffers. Yeah, Sheik's gonna have a hard time getting a kill. If you just play patient, don't get hit by her setups. Oh, a shield break! How? Pull a stitch face. Miru cycling to the frying pan for a maximum knockback. Yeah, exactly. Or damage, or whatever. that was why he missed. One. That's so. That's so smart that he actually was aware that he could hit the frying pan. Yeah, oh my god! Yeah, it used god. to be RNG. Yeah. But ever since Smash Four, it's actually in fixed order. You get golf club, tennis racket, frying pan. Yeah, and that he actually is aware of that and just knows that his frying pan is the best option to hit him with. That's so smart. I'm actually really impressed by that. But like, I would have tried to, to pick like one or two turnips. Just look if I can get a stitch phase. If I if I or a bomb, and if I don't get it, okay, I'm going to hit you with four smash. And this lead is actually expanding for Mary right now. Yeah, I think all thirty, but uh, but not really in dire of danger. Yeah, exactly. With oh, is he, he's well, going to die to that. Fair. If he gets edge guarded, you are, and that's another area I think a lot of sheiks should focus more on. Sheik's edge yeah. guarding is really pretty solid. It's amazing. And more people need to be using that. If I see people like Mr. R or Void, like what they do off stage yeah. against people, like, oh my god. Like, do you see what Void does to Larry? Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, a bomb. bomb! He goes for the up throw. Throws it away. Well, uh, that was the classic read on the let's jump that he got Infra with at NH Smash 2. Yeah. 
Ho instead. And that's the stock. Opting to go full aggro as soon as the bomb is pulled and it works out for him. Yeah, I mean, Meru is not really a fan of the bomb just because he knows that he can get hit by that himself as well. He's just like, ah, I'm going, not going to use that RNG advantage. I don't really need it in this game. I mean, I have a huge lead anyway. He should have. That, that's one of the problems with Sheik. You don't have a nice spike. Yeah. You don't have a lot of strong aerials in terms of kill power. Nope. When you need to make the comeback, you need to play absolutely 100% perfect. I mean, if you want to make a comeback with Sheik, the thing you need to do is just play patient and play neutral correctly. Yeah. That's basically the thing, which is not what you, most characters would do. They would just play the neutral and get one heavy hit and even again. But Sheik cannot do that. Oh, I like that. He keeps air dodging though. And Ho actually didn't punish the last one, but I think Mary should arrow a little. That should. Oh, I expect no, no, him no. to go for the up smash punish. He's floating. He's floating. He wants that fair. Yeah. Back I can throw. understand why. That's if you get hit by that, you're like, dude, I got hit by the hardest hit ever. Wow, that's the game. Uh, that's the game. So, that forward air, dude, why do I keep underestimating the power on this forward air? I don't know, maybe because it's not as strong as it is with Rage, when it doesn't I have Rage, guess, but, but come on. That move kills at like 80 at the ledge. Well, we saw it right here. Against mid weights. <laughs> it's a crazy move. So, that puts one on the scoreboard for Meru. But can we talk about how good his reaction was, or how good his readability was, and the fact that Ho was going to Bouncing Fish there, just punishing, punishing that bouncing fish with the fair. Yeah, Mero is absolutely on point. Yep. Looks like he uh, made a little download on how uh, Ho likes to play that cheek. Yeah, I'm. Might, I'm actually not sure how many characters Ho plays. I believe he actually plays quite a lot of characters, he but he might. To play Bayonetta. <laughs> Wait, he plays with Wee Chuck. Yes. Oh wow. He's, he's he's old school like that. Okay, he actually plays with Wee more than Nunchuck. Yeah. Being a technical character like cheek with that. That's I don't impressive. know, man. It's not, not my cup of tea. No, but it's impressive that he is able yeah, to do it, that. Yeah, it just makes it all, all the more impressive that Ho's actually doing that. But you know, you gotta use the controller, you're most comfortable with it. With yeah. It, you can get the best results. I've been playing with Wii, Wii Modern Chuck as well in the beginning of the game because I couldn't get an adapter, but I played Diddy Kong pre-patch, which I mean, <laughs> is a lot easier. Yeah, you basically need the B button, the A button, <laughs> and the grab button. Yeah, exactly, and then the upper, and I just put that on the arrow, so yeah. I was like, I had the most basic controls just to be able to get those hoo-hahs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's dirty as hell, but I mean, it worked. And then he got nerfed. And then he got nerfed, and I actually needed to get better at the game. Okay, okay. And who would have used the lead again? But Peach combos, 35. 35 out of the from one combo, that, that's... Oh. I mean, he did have... Oh wow, that's so oh. unfortunate. Especially still only like at 30%. Oh, and another he actually bomb? had another bomb. He just threw it up again, and that's gonna be... Not, not Maybe Ho has deed in pure fear of the bomb. I'm, I mean, he might have. But yeah, that's very unfortunate by Ho, just... Losing that stock through that grenade SD. It's one of those things you see a lot of sheep mains do. Is like they want to use bouncing fish or something, and they by accident they use that bomb. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So unfortunate. Yeah. It's not the kind of thing you want to see oh, happen. And, and, and bouncing fish looks like it would be a side B, you know? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. It's the same with Charizard and Rocks, man. You know, like, dude, it's like side B, and then yeah. it's moved to down B, and then. People want to know. Flare blitz of the stage. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so we are looking pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, his lead's not that big. If he just like gets killed here without really tacking on any percent, I mean, it's basically even. But I like to see Ho go for a lot more short of aerial approaches because you know Peach is going to go for that low float. Yeah, she is. You kind of have to bait that or read that yeah. jump when yeah, she is doing, doing a jump. pretty good job of punishing, but I think he could get even more mileage if he yeah. starts preemptively throwing out. Yeah, I've been playing Meru a few times lately on Wi-Fi, and what I usually do is like I'm going to call out that up that jump to flow with like up smash yeah. with cloud or something, and it works. And a whole evening uh, of the game by finally getting rid of Mary. Yeah, here on time soon. But at this point, uh, if that SD wasn't a thing, Ho would have probably got a huge lead, but it's even now, so that's actually good for Meru. But Ho showing that he has complete control of this match base, actually. Didn't really take that much percentage yet. 
Oh, of course, every time you get one of those needles, it is not just one, two needles, but also like one, two percent. Yeah. And that's okay, because it's perfectly safe. But you know... Every percentage that you can get without taking any risk, I mean, it's... But in the meantime, Ho is approaching unsafely with aerials after those needles, and then Peach get a few hits yeah. in, and they just do so much more damage. So Matthew, actually, I, I believe this is winner's quarter, so winners of this will actually get guaranteed top 5. Really? Okay, okay. I think so. Okay. But he, oh, wow! What was that? Down or the up air? That's Did a he combo. meant to do that? I'm not sure. Or was he just sure. so quick with his reaction that the field there immediately connected to an up air? Well, I think he just wanted to connect the full there and just, just found out, okay, he fell out of it, I'm just going to up air you. That was some great reaction that runners by Mere. Very impressive. And uh, because of that, he is ahead one stock yeah. in a 1 1 situation. He is looking pretty sharp to take it. Against Cheek, no Against Cheek of all characters. This is and going Ho to be of all players. Yeah, this is going to be hard for Ho. This is going to be really difficult. That's to play so safe. Like, the most important part here is to not take damage rather than to get that kill. Which is why Zero is so effective on top level. Whenever he's behind, he's not like, I have to take the stock. What he thinks, it's like, okay, I don't want to take damage. I don't yeah. want to get behind even farther. So I'm going to play as safe and as correct as I possibly can. And it usually works out. And I mean, he's actually doing some great work here. Getting some percentage, but still, not nothing that's above his league right now. That will be... That, if, if, oh my god, that player is so scary right now. Yeah. Cheek might even die right now. And every hit that Ho takes, this He's, game is slipping yeah. further and further away from it. And there and it that's is! Going to be the stock. That's the creative mix-up use yep. I like to see out of Vanish after the nerf. Yep, exactly. Take and I was cheeks. about to say, like, please don't get hit by that fair on the <laughs> ledge right now, you will die. Oh! Wow. Fair? Okay, no. Yeah, turn him Gimps, AS Mate 4, Peach usually, uh... Peach is now so for Cloud and Little Mac. <laughs> it's such a good out of, like, get get over me tool. It's a get the fuck off tool. It's so good. Yeah, it's basically like Nessus. Yeah, it's... And that's going to be the game, and that's going to be the match. 2-1 for Meru. Very unfortunate SD by Ho. But very well played by Meru and Ho as well, nonetheless. Yeah, you know, we very take those, as we say. We yeah. take those, but a very impressive set played by both players. So that gives us space for the next match.